So you want to start making vlogs, or maybe you already are, or you want to make better vlogs, well, this video is for you. Here are my seven essential vlogging tips. Tip number one, make the first 15 seconds count. We all know that everyone's attention span is getting shorter and shorter. The first few moments of a video is when the viewer will be deciding if they wanna stick around and watch the rest of the video. So making the first 15 seconds engaging and interesting is so important. A very simple way of doing this is to introduce a story. You could simply tease the viewer about something that might happen later on in the video, so then they can decide if they wanna find out what happens next. Here's an example of one of my recent vlogs where I used some fast paced editing and some cool music to engage the viewer first thing. There he is, absolute nutcase. Good evening peeps, welcome back. So the first 15 seconds is all about engaging the viewer and teasing them with what's about to happen so they stick around and watch the video. Tip number two is all about lighting. You don't need an amazing camera to film good vlogs. However, the lighting in your video will make a huge difference. Bad lighting with an expensive camera will look terrible. Good lighting with a cheap camera will still look great. This is what bad lighting looks like with a 2000 pound camera. And this is what good lighting looks like with just my mobile phone. You can definitely tell the difference. This footage here looks a lot better than this footage here, which looks pretty bad. Here's a simple way of using natural light to your advantage. I'm stood in front of a great big window. The light is projected onto my face, so hopefully I look nice and clear. And this is what it looks like when I'm actually filming against the natural light. This clearly doesn't look as good as this, for example. Tip number three is all about the music you decide to use in your videos. And this one is brought to you by the sponsors of this video, Epidemic Sound. This one is a deal breaker for good vlogs. The music you decide to use will completely change the atmosphere and the effect your vlogs have. Simply using the right song can dramatically improve the quality of your videos. Let's use this video right here as an example. Can you hear that nice, pleasant, upbeat soundtrack in the background? The music I'm using simply adds a little bit of pace and keeps you as the viewer engaged. Using music on YouTube videos has always been a little bit tricky because of copyright issues, but this is where Epidemic Sound come into play. I've personally been using Epidemic Sound for years for all of the music in all of my videos. Epidemic Sound has over 35,000 tracks and 90,000 sound effects for you to use in your videos. Epidemic Sound also own 100% of the music, so there's never a chance that your videos will receive a claim or get taken down in the future. I've been using Epidemic Sound for years and there's two features that I love the most. The first feature I absolutely love is when you land on the homepage, which looks something like this, you've got at the top here for your YouTube channel, recommendations based on Mike Chudley. Everything that's suggested here is things I've downloaded before and similar music. So I don't have to waste any time. As soon as I land on the homepage of Epidemic Sound, I've already got some suggestions of some music that I'm probably gonna be using for my videos. My second favorite feature of using Epidemic Sound is when I'm browsing for a song, maybe I'm just on a now trending playlist. And I really like this first song, for example. What I can do is go over here and click find similar, these little two circles, that will open up a whole tab full of songs that are very similar to the one you really like. So maybe you've already used Sunflower by Giant's Nest, for example, and you don't want to reuse it. Well, simply click the two little circles and it will find you a whole bunch of music that you could use that's very similar. If you want high quality music for your vlogs, then the personal plan is perfect. You will be covered for most platforms, including YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook, podcasts as well, so you'll never need to worry about receiving claims or getting strikes. Sign up to Epidemic Sound's personal plan with the link in the description and receive one month free trial. What's also great is any songs you decide to download and use on your videos and vlogs will remain safe and protected even if you cancel your subscription after the trial is over. Tip number four is all about audio. This one is probably more important than the actual video quality of your vlogs. Nobody will watch a video with bad audio. People will simply click on to another video. What's the point in making a vlog if no one can hear or understand what you're saying? For this video here, I'm using the Sennheiser MKE 400. Other microphones I can recommend for your camera would be a Sennheiser MKE 200, a Rode video micro or even a more professional lapel mic like this Sennheiser AVX. If you are however using your mobile phone to record some vlogs then some mobile phone microphones I recommend would be a Rode SmartLav or a Joby Wavo. I'm currently recording this clip using this Sebentec wireless microphone and that obviously just hooked up to my phone so this wireless audio option for mobile phones is super convenient. So there are loads of options, whether you are using a video camera, a proper professional camera, or just your mobile phone to record vlogs, make sure you've got good audio. Tip number five is all about telling a story. 
You know how I started this video by telling you the first 15 seconds count? Well, that's by introducing a story. Well, a good story will keep the viewers watching the entire video. Human beings love a story. Once we're hooked, we will want to find out what happens next. Here's the thing. I'm not asking you to rewrite Harry Potter or come up with a film just as good as Avatar, for example. Your story can be about anything and it can be really simple. You just need to take the viewers of your video from point A to point B and fill that with a start, a middle and an end. A very simple example of this could be your vlog is a day out in London. The start of your day could be you getting ready, your journey into the city, the friends that you meet up with and why you're so excited about the day. The middle is when you're doing the touristy stuff, you're having food, you're having a laugh. This is the highlight of the video. And the end is your journey home, sharing your thoughts on the day and wrapping up the video. A really good vlog that has a great story will make the viewers feel like they experienced it like you did. If you miss the middle beginning or the end of a video, it might feel incomplete. If your vlog has a story, then it it has a good structure and you can make a story out of pretty much anything. Tip number six is all about video titles and thumbnail. Now this tip is heavily focused on people wanting to upload their vlogs onto YouTube and they want to get some views. Video titles and thumbnails are so important and if you don't get it right, no one will click on the video, doesn't matter how good it is. Just to clarify, the thumbnail is the picture and the image you see just before you click on a video and I'm sure I don't have to explain what a title is. The title and the thumbnail are supposed to make the viewer curious. Why should they click on your video over the other 30 plus videos that YouTube's gonna be showing them on their homepage or in their subscription box? Your thumbnail needs to stand out. Let's use our London vlog as an example. Good titles for this video could be top five best things to do in London or even London tourist attractions you must visit. Think of a good title as something that someone would search for. If someone was planning a day into London, then those previous titles we just mentioned would get their attention. Of course, we want our titles to be exciting and get attention, but we also shouldn't lie to the viewer because then they'll just be disappointed when they click on the video and they won't watch any more of your videos. Generally speaking, the key to a good thumbnail is when it is clear and easy to look at. Getting the thumbnail and title right in your videos is something that even the best YouTubers struggle and battle with. So you've got to try different things, test different things, and maybe look at popular videos and see what's working for them and try it for yourself. Tip number seven is having a goal and starting with the end in mind. Stephen Covey, author of Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, once said, to begin with the end in mind means to start with a clear understanding of your destination. It means you know where you're going so that you better understand where you are now so that the steps you take are always in the right direction. This final tip will make your vlogging experience so much easier. Maybe you just wanna reach a thousand subscribers or maybe you wanna make loads of money from YouTube or maybe you just wanna create videos for some good memories for you to look back on in the future. Whatever the reason is for making videos and creating vlogs, Having an end in mind and having a goal will help you steer your creativity in the right direction. Getting good at anything requires consistency and filming and making vlogs is just the same. Your first video will be pretty bad and your 100th video will be a lot better. That's pretty obvious. Without having an end in mind, without having a goal, you could start to film 20 vlogs, 30 vlogs, 50 vlogs. And if you don't know where you're going or what the reason for doing it is, you could easily stop and not be consistent. One of my personal biggest goals on YouTube is to reach 100 thousand subscribers. Therefore, I will not stop until I get it. Now I know what my goal is and what I want to achieve. I won't stop until I get that silver play button. So if you're watching this video still, then please click subscribe. I'm on the road to 100,000. Once I reach 100,000 subscribers, maybe my goal will be a million subscribers, or maybe it'll be something totally different and I wanna start a new business elsewhere. I just wanna give a massive shout out to Epidemic Sound. A big thanks for sponsoring this video. I cannot recommend them enough and I've personally been using them for years. So when they reached out and said they wanna sponsor a YouTube video, I couldn't be more thankful and grateful. I hope these tips have helped you with your vlogging and making videos. If they did, please hit like, leave a comment down below, click subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Peace out.